we get and everything we'll never get is all is only on loan from you. Thank you for allowing us to be good stewards. Not only of the gift of the anointing of God, but the assets and the provision that you've given us. Now, God bless these your people. I pray, Lord God, blessing. I pray, Lord God, overflow. I pray, Lord God, expansion in their lives. Because I know, Lord God, you're going to do it. We ask these under the blessings of Jesus. Name, amen. And amen again. We're going to ask. I don't know about you, but I don't feel no ways tired. I don't care what it look like. I don't care what it sounds like. But my testimony is. I don't feel no waste time. Come on and worship with me. Thank you, Jesus. I don't.
tarry with you all day long. Now, I know some folks love to put on these vestments, but they are hot. Yes, yes sir! Talk, sir. Yes, sir! And I don't want to be at them all day long. Come on, sir. Amen. God has blessed me these many years. And if God allows me to live to see Tuesday morning roll in, I normally don't tell my age, but I'm proud of it on this year. Right. Amen. I'll be 75 years old. good to me and I thank God that I'm in as good a health as I am at this age God has defeated two rounds of cancer thank God no chemo no radiation but it was able to be surgically removed on both occasions. And now they say you cancer free. Yeah, you know, the devil has attempted to stop me from being and obedient to what God has mandated for me to do. But I thank God that he has stood by me and he said he'd never leave me, no forsake me. And he's been right there. Now some folks say, now, this don't look like a Catholic service to me. Uh, that's because you are accustomed to seeing, hearing, or watching wrong, of which we are no parts of. Amen. Amen. Uh, so things can get kind of heavy when the Spirit of the Lord starts to move. We do not try to hinder what God is doing. But I'm going to go ahead and get to the Word. Because I said I'm getting hotter and hotter up here. <laughs> but we're going to give you what thus saith the Lord and we're going to direct this to our two candidates Bishop Black Ross and Bishop Black Huffman y'all just don't know how good this makes me feel today God, you're two people that have earned the right to be here in spite of distractions in spite of those folks trying to talk about it. Amen. In spite of the people that have tried to put roadblocks in your way to get you there. You maintain. You stood the test of time and now you're here. And we thank God for you. If you have your Bibles, I'm going to ask that you turn me to 1 Corinthians the third chapter We're going to begin reading at the first verse. Mm, glory. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 in the first verse. The word of God says, And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Christ. I have fed you with milk and not with meat. For hitherto ye were not able to bear it, neither yet now are ye able. For ye are not are yet carnal, for whereas there is among you envyings and strifes and divisions, are ye not carnal and walk as men? For while one says, I am of Paul, and another, I am of Paul's, are ye not carnal? But who then is Paul? And who is Apollos? 
but ministers by whom he believed, even as the Lord gave to every man. I have planted, Apollos have watered, but God gave the increase. So then neither is he that planteth anything, neither is he that watereth, but God that giveth the increase. Bless God for the reading of his holy word. You may be seated. I want you to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, it's time to grow up. Good sir. You've been in the toddler stage. And you have nursed on milk. But even a baby, when it gets to a certain point, formula just don't do nothing for them. They need something with a little bit more substance to it than the formula. Right. And, and, and I've noticed that they got now, they didn't happen when my children was growing up, but they got now stage one, stage two, stage three, baby food and baby formulas and all this good stuff. Yeah. But eventually, that doesn't do anything for them. Right. And so they get on milk. Mm -hmm. Whole milk. And it starts to nourish their growth a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Because it has a little more substance in it than formula. But after a while, milk just don't get it. And the baby will get frustrated because they're not getting what they need for the body. Right, right. And Paul said to the Corinthian church, I, I fed you with milk because you like a baby. But I haven't been able to give you meat because you're not able to be able to, to, to digest it. Right. Because you still have some carnal mindedness about you. Right. What are you talking about, Carl? He said there's envies and strifes. Yes, mm -hmm. There's divisions among you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now when we're talking about the one holy Catholic apostolic church, there shouldn't be no divisions. There shouldn't be any strife. But, but, but there is because everybody wants to do their own thing. Yes. Right. Yes. I don't like what you say, saying, so I'm going to go ahead and start my own. Uh -huh. And I'm going to have my own set of rules. Yes, sir. And you'll take some folks with you, but then after a while they're going to say, well, I don't particularly like what you're saying now. Yeah. So I'm going to go start my own. Wow. Now, good. folk will look at the Catholic Church and say, okay, there's only one that's wrong. Mm -hmm. Now, that's not, true. not even close. Mm -hmm. If that's the case, I can say there's only one Baptist Church. Yes. Right, right. And all y'all the same. Mm -hmm. <laughs> see, but in reality, you got missionary Baptists, mm -hmm. you got first Baptists, yes. second Baptists, third Baptists, <laughs> uh, primitive Baptists, <laughs> uh, the, what, what, what is the, the Southern Baptists. You got the uh, uh, what the, the, the whole the, 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 the five oh yeah five baptized Baptists. <laughs> Free will. Free will Baptist. Yes, sir. And it, that's because, and it's the same thing with the Methodist Church. It's all different. The Pentecostal Church. And you think that if I go into a Pentecostal Church, I can expect to see the same thing with no matter where I go. No, no, no. No, sir. But because of the divisions that's in the body, uh -huh. Uh -huh. They can't even get together, but we all Pentecostal. Uh -huh. Right. Same way with the Orthodox Church. Oh yes. Same thing with the Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. There are different divisions, but God said this should probably uh, this this shouldn't be, and this is one of the reasons why we can't seem to get together as one. We can't represent the body as one because. Well, I got my beliefs. Uh, I, 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 you know, I, we got our doctrines, and we do things based on our denomination. 
But I, I can't seem to find anywhere in the scriptures. I can't seem to find anywhere in the scriptures where he said one way was righter than the rest. Next way. Uh -huh. I can't seem to find anywhere in the scriptures where Jesus said, you sit up camp and then I'm going to set up another camp over here and then you go and take a part and go sit up a camp over there. Mm -hmm. It's time to grow up. Yeah. It's time to be about the Father's business. Mm -hmm. And once we get to the place where we quit being concerned about our business and start focusing on the Father's business, then everything else will fall in place. Now I told you I wasn't going to be before you long. Mm -hmm. But I just want to let you know as you walk into this Episcopal office and you begin to set up your diocese. I'm getting a whole lot of... Is that that? Yep. Bless the Lord. Okay. Well, no. I'm still getting a lot of echo in here. But anyway, we're going to finish this up. But I want to let you know that as you begin to set up your diocese, as you begin to build your jurisdictions and territories, bless God, you are going to run much better. Thank you, sir. You're going to run into some people that I like to classify as the Taylor family. <laughs> 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 now, I'm not talking about sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. Sweet potatoes get good to you. Mm -hmm. And they get filling. Yes, and they nourish you. Yes, sir. I'm not talking about mashed potatoes. Because mm -hmm. they'll do the same thing. They'll fill you up and cause nourishment to your body. <laughs> but what I want to talk about this morning, and I'm going to get out of the way, because we got a lot to do. I want to talk to you about the Taylor family, the human Taylor family. And the first member of this Taylor family is the imitator. Ah, talk so. Talk so. That's them folk that pretend to be in your corner. <laughs> them folk that pretend they got your back. Yes, sir. That's them folk that, that, that pretend that they are in your corner and no matter what you do, I'm with you. Right, right, right. But they're imitators. Mm -hmm. They even imitate being a child of God. Yes. They're good at what they do. These imitators going to be in your path. Yes, so you got to watch out for those imitators. Yes, sir. Because if, if they're able to, they'll fool you into thinking they're a genuine art. Mm -hmm. you got to watch out for the imitators. The next member of the Taylor family is the hesitator. <laughs> that's the old that's going to tell you I was just about to come over there and get you out. I was just getting ready to get dressed to go out the door. I was just about to call you to let you know I was on my way. Even when they get to the house, I was getting ready to do that for you, but I see you got it handled. Talk so. <laughs> they get into the certain, I was just getting ready to sit up for communion, but <sighs> no. somebody else beat me too. <laughs> I was just getting ready to hesitate on doing anything that I told you I was going to do. <laughs> you got them all through the church. Yes. That old been in the Christmas for a while, you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, you got to look out for the spectators. Y'all know what spectators are. Mm -hmm. Anytime you watch an event on TV, sports event especially, you see the stand is full of spectators. Yeah. Uh -huh. You got spectators in the church. Yes, uh, They're going to watch what you're doing. Oh, yes. They're going to they, see what's happening. Mm -hmm. uh, but they're not going to participate in what you're trying to do. They just come to watch. And you got folk that will come up and show up at your church just to see what's going on. They have no intention to be a part of the program. I just come to see. I'm coming to watch. Y'all got to watch out for these Taylor families now I'm trying to change. And one of the most dangerous ones you're going to run into is that commentator. Now, 
Do y'all know what that? See, when I was young, we used to listen to sports on the radio. Mm -hmm. And the commentator was so good that you didn't have to be there. Right. You could visualize <laughs> what was happening at that event because he was a perfect commentator giving you a blow-by-blow -blow play of what's going on on the field. Yes. Yes. Well, you got commentators in the church, too. Mm -hmm. They're not going to talk about, talk to you, but they will talk about you. Yeah. These commentators will have folks knowing down the street more about what's happening in here than you do, and you in the house. Right. But the commentator will carry it to the street, and they'll know more about your business than you do. You have to watch out for these commentators. They in the table. I'm telling you, the table's going to move in on you. And, and when it happens, don't say you wasn't warned. Watch out for them tables. There's, one, uh, there's another member of the Taylor family that's known as the dictator. Uh oh. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, that's that member in your church. Watch it, watch it. Don't, they, they like the rest of them tables. They don't do nothing. <laughs> But they can tell you how to do it. Yes, yes. They don't want to sing on the choir, but they can tell the choir when they out of key. <laughs> they can't play now instruments, but they'll tell the musician when he off key. You missed that note. You missed that beat. You missed it, but you can't play nothing. Right. Two more time, one more time. They, this dictator, <laughs> don't serve on no boards. Right. Uh, no. But they're going to tell the board what to do. Right. Exactly. They even going to come to the point where that dictator mm -hmm. will come to the preacher, mm -hmm. tell you what you ought to be preaching about. Right. Uh, come on, Chuck. If I was you, I'd, I'd, I'd talk about this. If I was you, I'd preach about that. <laughs> That's not their place. <laughs> but they're so busy dictating to everybody and everything in God's house except what they need to be doing. Uh -huh. I'm telling you, this Taylor family is something else. <laughs> Now there's one more, probably the most dangerous of all the tales. Oh, come on, Tell us about it. And you really got to watch out for them. That's that agitator. Oh, yes. Now, I don't know if y'all realize what an agitator is, so I, I'm going to give you a nice demonstration of what an agitator is. Now, they don't have them in washing machine these days, they got them little lump pump things right. that's supposed to do all this. But back in the day, washing machine had a thing about this tall yes, in the middle of it. Yes. And it was called an agitator. Mm -hmm. And I kept trying to, I said, well, what do the agitator do? And I come to find out that the agitator in the washing machine got one job. One job. One job. They don't do nothing else. They got one job. <laughs> and that one job is to stir up all the dirt. Yeah. Yeah. It breaks all the dirt loose. <laughs> and bring it to the surface where it can be dealt with. Right. Yes. But agitators in the church, they do the same thing. They're going to find out everything piece of dirt about you that they can so they can bring it to the light. Anything that you've done wrong in your entire life, even before salvation, they go, they find it out, they're going to bring it to the forefront. Did you know he used to do this? Did you know she used to be like this? Do you know, ooh, tab it, that she would cuss you out in a heartbeat. Yes. <laughs> they got one job to stir up the dirt and bring it to the light so everybody can see your dirt. <laughs> but see, I, 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 I'm going to tell you, for me personally, I beat them to it. 
Mm -hmm. I tell my own dirt. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's so you ain't got nothing if you can hold That's over right. me. Right. That's right. I wasn't born saved. Uh -huh. Matter of fact, the Bible says I was born in sin and shaped in iniquity. That's what the Bible says. And I'm going to tell you, when I was out there serving the devil, I was good at my job. Uh -huh. I served him well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But agitators in the church well. don't want to let you forget where you came from. Right. 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 They want to try to keep you there. Mm -hmm. They want to try to keep you there. Keep you in that past. You got to deal with this tater fact. Mm -hmm. Look for it. It's coming. Mm. It's coming. But now, the thing about it is, the scripture said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. Yes. I'm going to be with you till the end. Mm. So when those taters pop up, it might be some taters sitting in here now. Oh, yes. Yeah. And if you know you're a tater, <laughs> you ain't got to get up. Right. Just bow your head and say, Father, well, pluck me up out of this tater thing. I don't want to be here. <laughs> My Jesus. If you watch it and you know you're a tater, Say, Lord, get me out of the Taylor family. I don't want to be one. My Lord. If I can't help you work, I definitely don't want to hinder. If I can't lift up your name, I don't want to be a hindrance to it. Because he said, if I be lifted up, he would draw all men unto himself. See, so I draw, y'all got to excuse me, I got to come out here because this is good. Come on, let's go. Here, smoke it. Look here. When you're dealing with those taters, you, you, you got to handle them delicately. Mm -hmm. And why do I say that way? Because, you know, anybody that, 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 that has to, have to dig potatoes or sweet potatoes from the ground, if you don't hit it right, you're going to cut it in half and it's messed up. Mm -hmm. So you got to leave it there so it can regrow and sprout out again and create a whole, whole another section of taters. But when you work around them taters, see, when you, when you get to the point of the head of, and you know where it's at, you can dip and be able to feed yourself, mm -hmm. be able to do some things, have some more energy. Uh -huh. You see, but, but when you digging these taters up, do it wisely. And why I'm saying do it wisely? Do it wisely because if you misstep with them taters, Lord have mercy. They ain't no good for themselves. They ain't no good for you. Watch out for the taters, y'all. Watch out for the taters. Bishops, because they coming. They going to be the first ones to load up and come in so they can see if they can tear down before you have a chance to be. Watch out for them taters. They going to come smiling in your face. Glory